Hey Divas, welcome or welcome back. It's your girl Keisha here with another video, girl. We are about to budget for our first week in March. You know your girl has been looking for March to get here as soon as possible, so I'm so glad she has arrived. On this channel, we talk about all things budgeting, cash stuffing, um, sinking funds, saving challenges, planning. Girl, any and everything that has to do with your money. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. And let's go ahead and budget for our first paycheck in March. So if that sounds like something you want to see, then stay tuned. All right, Dave, as well. By now, you should have seen the monthly setup where I went and set up my monthly budget and all the things. So this month is a real low key month for me, or at least I'm trying to make it be because April is going to be so busy. So your girl is gonna be very quiet. Don't wanna go nowhere, no one invite me out if and when possible. I'm just trying to keep my coins and stack my coins up, okay? So I like to budget from a Thursday to a Thursday. And since March 1st is on a Wednesday, I have to kind of extend that week. So this pay period is gonna be from the 1st through the 9th. And you're probably trying to figure out, well, Keisha, how can you decide when you get your paycheck? I really get paid once a month. We get all streams of our income in the beginning of the month. Everything else is just additional income. So I really have to budget the one time we get paid throughout the month, which is why I like to budget weekly. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in what I am projected to get this month or for this pay period. Okay, so for the pay period between March 1st and March 9th, I'm projected to bring in $13,860. Um, that also includes a rollover of about $200. So when I actually do get paid and the money comes and hits my account, I'll go ahead and put the actual amounts. And when I close out February, I will know exactly how much I have to roll over, but I'm thinking it's around 200, give or take, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is fill in our bills. These are the things that I need to pay between the first and the ninth. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill this in, and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's dive into it. So all my bills that are due between the first and the ninth comes up to $5,104. So left over anything remaining, I'll take my total up here, 13,860 minus $5,104 equals $8,756. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down here. So for my Roth, I'm going to just do So my Roth, I'm gonna do $50. And my trade account, I'm gonna do $515. That takes me to 565. So 565 from 876, 8756, sorry. 8,191 dollars. So we're gonna bring that over here now. So these are the things that I have to pay. These are my bills, my living expenses. Over here are variable expenses. This means I can dictate, you know, really how much I wanna spend in these areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now these are my variable expenses. These are the things I would typically have in my cash envelopes and my wallet. So we have allowance for me and my uh, family groceries this week I'm doing 150 I'm really trying to have a grocery budget of not to exceed $550 this month I really want to be uh, intentional intentional with my meal planning I I usually am but I'm gonna be more focused this month I'm eating out $40 household $30 gas $60 kids $60 um, personal beauty $100 um, fun my husband and I have like a date night. I could really take it out the date night envelope. So let me see how it goes and how much money I spend. Uh, coffee, 15 bucks. Business, $60. And miscellaneous, $10. So that comes up to $658. If I subtract that from my leftover of $8,191, 
that leaves me with $7,533. So we're gonna bring that down here into my sinking funds and cash envelopes. If you saw my monthly budget set up, guys, I'm really not being that aggressive this month with my sinking funds and um, cash envelopes because your girl, I gotta focus. I have my husband's birthday, he's turning 50, so it's a big birthday. I wanna make sure you know he has a good time celebrating that. And my twin's birthday, and they have spring break. So I have a, a lot of things coming up in the next 45 days, I would say. So I'm not gonna go too hard in my sinking funds. Um, this month and savings challenges, I'm gonna be really low key actually. So let me just fill it in and then I'll get right back. Okay, so as I was doing my sinking funds and savings challenges, I did want to update something. So um, I went back over here to my income. I'm going to use $100 for my twins sinking funds. I need to make a deposit on their birthday party venue. I think it's $100 to hold the space. Um, so that just added, so that made my total income 13960 opposed to 13860 and I just changed everything and everything remained the same from this point on. So, and then for the kids, I just added it. Remember, I only had $60 before, but I just increased it by $100 because I'm gonna use this $100 for them and everything else is the same. So for the sinking funds and savings challenges, I'm gonna do $800 this week. That brings my, to so 800 minus the 7,533 brings me down to 6,733. So I'm not focusing on paying any additional debt right now. I told you guys, I just need to focus on the priorities I have going on. I totally believe you can be in your debt-free journey and still live your life. So I'm gonna be rolling over the remaining balance of 6,000, I mean, $6,733. So that leaves me with a zero dollar budget. So this is a zero based budget. That means every dollar that I have coming in has a place to go. Everything has a job. Nothing is just sitting idle. Even my rollover that I'm not spending this month, it has a job. I'm rolling it over to the next week so it can cover that pay period and the bills in that section, okay? Next, we're gonna do the cash envelope breakdown. So I'm just going to just write down all my categories I need cash for, the denominations, and then I'll take that to the bank and get my dough. Okay, we have all the denominations. Let's go ahead and add everything up. Okay guys, so we will need um, $1,512 to stuff my envelopes and sinking funds and savings challenges. So that's a lot of cash stuffing. I'm not gonna stuff everything in one video, but I will go to the ATM or the teller and get all of this cash at one time. The last thing we need to do is fill out our bank teller slip and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so I have these slips. These are from the Budget Mom. You can get this on Etsy. You can pretty much grab these any any place um, that sells anything that has to do with cash envelopes. So I'm gonna take this slip to the teller. I'll come back and then we'll go ahead and we'll cash stuff for the first week of March. Okay, Divas, I am back. I went to the bank. Now I did take out the full amount, like I said, but I didn't wanna mix everything up in this video, so I just, Pulled out what I needed. Let me get back to this page. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sticky here. I like to keep my teller slip, slip here just, just as a reference and I just have it here. So before we get stuff, and let's go ahead and count this money, okay? $17. $42, 
$662. So today we'll be cashed up in $662 into our cash envelopes. Let's go. Okay, so I did decide to go back to my personal size um, agenda slash wallet just because I'm just tired of folding my money, girl. That's really what it's come down to. And that's the thing with cash envelopes. You can switch it up. You know, you don't have to be stuck with one particular system. And um, that makes stuffing it fun and having envelopes and all the things. So we're gonna start with groceries. So groceries this week is gonna get 70, I mean, $150. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 1, 50. Next, dining out is going to get $40. And I had these envelopes for quite some time, and they're in good shape. I will definitely link this Etsy shop down below because they're perfectly fine. Household is going to get $30 this week. I was thinking of ordering some new envelopes, girl, but like I said in my monthly budget, I am staying focused this month. I have too many things coming up. So spending 20, 30, well, 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks on some envelopes. I can wait. Gas is gonna get $60 this week. Beauty is getting $100 this week. I am referencing my, my workbook, it's off to the side. Five. Can I see? 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 99, 100. Miscellaneous this week is gonna get $10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kids are getting sixty dollars. Guys, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. This month I'm doing something a little different. I'm excited. I'm going to be incorporating a vlog. And I'm just gonna just bring you guys around with me and show you how I actually spend the money on my cash envelopes. I think that'll be fun. Um, because when I be watching the other queens, I be like, what are y'all spending your money on? So I was like, girl, let me show y'all what I'm spending my money on. So fun is going to get $50. My husband and I are supposed to go on a date. Um, we got invited to go see a pre-screening of Creed 3. So I'll bring you guys along with me for that as well. Um, it's it, it was an invite, so we don't have to pay. But I'm sure we're going to grab drinks or do something, you know, beforehand. Business is getting business is getting sixty dollars. Coffee. I miss my Starbucks envelope. Here it's getting fifteen dollars this week. Okay, and what do I have left? Our personal allowance. You know, my husband and I get $30 a week. My 11-year-old gets $11 a week. And my twins get $8 a week. So we should have $87 here. Let's see. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. I'll put this off to the side. I need to find my envelope to put back in here for my allowance but this will go off to the side. And that is it. We did a lot today, guys. We budgeted for our first paycheck. We cashed up um, our cash envelope. I'm gonna put my ID and credit cards and everything back in here. And I am excited to start March off um, focused on budget, on task. I am ready to go. Again, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed today's video, of course, give it a thumbs up and talk to your girl because I love to hear from you guys. And you know, I always talk back. And I will see you in the next one. Later.